Welcome to Eagle Healing Hope Broadcast. This is your Badger Healing Evangelist, Felicia Claiborne. You can like our Facebook pages entitled Eagle Healing Hope Broadcast and Healing Wings International Ministry. You can also join our groups on Facebook under the same names. This is brought to you by the Partners, Prayer Warriors, and supporters of Healing Wings International Ministry. We will talk about Moloch. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus. You're the great King of kings, the Lord of lords. You are the lily of the valley, bright and morning star you are. Forgive us of all sins, creating us a clean heart. Renew our right spirit within us on today. We ask you to restore the joy of our salvation on this, on this day. God, we ask you right now that you will open up our ears to hear and our spirit to receive the word of God. Release fresh revelation and confirmation of your word. And we ask this to remove all distractions. We ask this through Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. Moloch as with many details in ancient history the exact origin of Moloch Moloch, or Moloch worship is unclear the term Moloch is believed to have originated with the Phoenician milk which refers to a type of sacrifice made to confirm or quit a vow Melech is a the Hebrew word for king. It was common for the Israelites to combine the name of a pagan, of pagan gods with vows in the Hebrew word for shame or brutish. This is how the goddess of fertility and war, Artit, becomes Ashtoreth. The combination of milk, melek, or brodith result in molech, which could be interpreted as the per personified ruler of shameful sacrifices. It has also been spelled M I I L C O M, Malcolm, Malcolm, or milk. Mac. Ashtoreth was his cohort, consort in ritual prostitution, with the considered an important form of worship. The Phoenician were loosely gathered group of people who inhabited Cana modern day Lebanon. Syria and Israel between 1550 BC and 300 BC. In addition to sexual rituals, Moloch worship included child sacrifice or passing children around through fire. It is believed that idols of Moloch were giant metal statues of men with a bull head. Each image had a hole in the abdomen and probably outstretched forearm that made a rib to the hole. And you know where there's a hole in the Adam and there's a navel, so there's a soul tie coming in there too. A fire was lit in and around the statue. Babies were placed in the statue's arms or in the hole when a couple sacrificed their firstborn. They believed that Moloch would ensure financial prosperity for the family and future children. And be careful what you name your children and be careful what if you put in spells and all of that, demons and all that, you gotta be careful. Sacrifice them to the Lord, not to idol gods. Moloch Moloch worship isn't limited to Canaan. Molith in North African bear, the engraving milk, often written milker or milk dung, which may mean sacrifice of lamb and sacrifice of man. In North Africa, Moloch will was renamed Konas. Konas migrated to Carthage in Greece, and his mythology grew to include his beginning at a titan and his father of Zeus. Melech is associated with and sometimes it, it 
equated to Baal, although the word Baal was also used to designate any god or ruler. Abraham followed God's call to move to Canaan, although human sacrifice was not common in Abraham's native earth. It was well established in his new land. God later asked Abraham to offer Isaac as a sacrifice, but then God distinguished himself from gods like Moloch. Unlike the native Canaanite god, Abraham's God ahorted human sacrifice. God commanded Isaac to be spared, and he provided a ram to take Isaac's place. God used this event as an illustration on how he would later provide his own son to take our place. Over 500 years after Abraham, Joshua led the Israelites out of the desert to inherit the promised land. God knew that the Israelites were immature in the faith, and their faith was easily distracted from worshiping the one true God. Before the Israelites had even entered Canaan, God warned them not to participate in Moloch worship and repeated and repeatedly told them to destroy their cultures that worship Moloch. The Israelites didn't heed God's warning. Instead, they incorporated Moloch worship into their own traditions. You gotta be careful what you do. You could be going to church and be leaving this and that. You gotta be careful with that. Even Solomon, the wisest king, was swayed to, to, by this cult and built places of worship for Moloch and other gods. Moloch worship occurred in the high places as well as narrow regimes outside Jerusalem called the Valley of Hin Hinnon Himram. Despite occasional efforts by godly kings, worship of Moloch wasn't ab abolished until the Israelites in captivity in Babylon. Although the Babylonian region was Pathetic or pathetic, characterized by astrology and divination. It did not include human sacrifices. Somehow, the desperation of the Israelites into a large pagan civilization to succeed in finally purging them of their false gods. When the Jews returned to their land, they were they rededicated themselves to God, and the Valley of Hemon was turned into a place of burning garbage in the bodies of executed criminals. Jesus used the imagery of this place as an eternal burning fire, consuming countless humans, victims to describe hell, where those who reject God will burn eternally. If you want the Lord as your personal Savior, I want you to pray this prayer and really mean it. Say, Dear Lord Jesus, I come to you as a sinner. I ask you to wash and cover my sins in the blood of Jesus. I believe that Jesus is the Son of God, and God himself has raised him from the dead. I opened up the door and let Jesus into my life. I confess that I am saved. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. Teach me to read the Bible. Send me to a good church and fill me with your Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen. That's it, my friend. Rejoice. Welcome to the family of God. Your name is written in the Lamb's Book of Life and the race off the quarters of hell. Get your Bible. Start reading the book of Psalms and Proverbs. Proverbs will teach you how to live. And Psalms will teach you how to praise, worship, and pray. And tell others about Jesus. Let's pray against the spirit of Moloch. I need my I need intercessors, warriors, prayer warriors. Grandmas and grandpas to pray with me. Stretch your hand towards that device. Heavenly Father, I pray in the name of Jesus. God, that you will forgive us of all sins, God. Oh, oh, mission and commission. Wipe us clean with your blood right now. And we ask that you will come in and to remove all guilt and stain from us with your blood. 
And Lord, we pray right now, we bind every spirit of Moloch, modern, modern day Moloch. We command you to be extinguished and gone in the pits of hell and never to return again. We plead the blood of Jesus. God, release, oh God, your Holy Spirit. Release pure worship before you, to worship you and you only, Father. We ask that you will come in, Heavenly Father, and release, oh Lord God, even your blood to cleanse all. All, all things, Father. Remove all principalities and strongholds from this, Father. In the name of Jesus, Heavenly Father, we pray those who have been sacrificed to this God, that they will turn to you and uh, they will repent and put you in their, in their life. And we thank you, God. We pray that anything that's going on in modernly with the human trafficking and babies being dedicated to a false God, we command it to be gone. Uh, be, to be malfunctioned, to be erased and ended in Jesus' name. And we command you to go in the never regions again. I mean, never regions, never to return again. And God, we thank you in advance that you are teaching our hands upon our fingers to fight. And we give you all the glory, honor, and praise in Jesus' name. Amen. If you know people that's going through this, I want you to continue to pray for them. If you're a person that's doing these sacrifices, fall on your knees and repent to the Lord. Repent and, and, and get Him into your life. Get Him into your life. There's still hope. You don't have to sacrifice your kids. You don't have to sacrifice yourself. God told us that He said He wants to offer them up to Him. He wants to dedicate them to them, to the work of the Lord. He said, train up a child in the way it should go, and when it's old, it will not depart. Meaning, in the admonition of the Lord. If you run that, get away from it. Get away from it. Get it to a safe place. You can. You can get out of this. Thank you for watching the Eagles Healing Hope broadcast. We pray that you have been blessed and encouraged. If you have any prayer requests and praise reports, you can email us at healingwingsintministry at gmail.com. You can inbox us on Facebook at Eagles Healing Hope broadcast or Healing Wings International Ministry pages. You can sell your seat by Cash App at Blondie Badger and spell B L O N D I E B A D G E R. Or you can mail a check or money order. Make it payable to Healing Wings International Ministry. Inbox us on Eagles Healing Hope Broadcast or Healing Wings International Ministry pages to get the address to mail your seed. Your offers will go to further the kingdom of God. This is brought to you by the partners, pro voice, and supporters of Healing Wings International Ministry. Keep hope alive. And remember, there is hope, people.